Uh, so the conversation was all over on Twitter. Let's read this tweet from this gentleman. M. Azuri says, Mr. President, for their selfish goals, chiefs, I mean, my heart broke when I read this. Are you serious? Are you a Ghanaian? Are you even an African? You, you write and say, for their selfish goals, chiefs, comma, paid praise singers and sycophants will continue to sing insincere praises of you. But what you heard at the Global Citizens Festival is the truest voice of the people. A referendum on your regime. You have two years to salvage this. Can you imagine this guy, what he said? Well, I can understand. You can say praise singers. That's always okay. So you can say for their selfish goals, praise singers, paid praise singers. That, that happens in politics, I know. And sicko fans, that also happens. Will continue to sing insincere praise, that also happens. But for God's sake, you cannot say chiefs. That's so disrespectful of chiefs. You can't write that about chiefs. Emma Mazuri, watch it. Be careful. Stop misbehaving. Why do you write this about chiefs? You, only yesterday, you were in Togbe Afede's palace at Asogli doing uh, human rights things with him, anti-corruption things with him. You've forgotten that Togbe Afede is a chief. Is he one of those you are calling chiefs here? You, because you say chiefs. You don't have any respect for tradition. You come from Bongo. A chief in Bongo, you don't respect him, eh? And that's why you come and write chiefs here. We, we respect our chiefs. And you have to understand that the chiefs in Ghana are a very, very important part of the democratic development. And the fact that we have peace. I attribute our peace to two in institutions. The chieftaincy institution and the church has given us the peace and stability to add to the democracy led by the politicians. You cannot come and say that chiefs, all chiefs, and you, 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 you put chiefs on the same level as paid praise singers. That is totally disrespectful. You cannot write that about chief. And you write on Twitter, you're an important person. Well, you've been sacked from joy, but that's not, that hasn't been anything. You are still an important person. And then you write like this, and foreigners are reading it. You are, you the Ghanaian, you are telling the foreigners that our chiefs are like paid praise singers and sycophants. My goodness. You can write that about chiefs? I don't know how some people think this media... Just, you see, this delusions of self-grandeur. I talk about it all the time. If you are not deluded in your mind about your non-existence grandiose, you will not come and write... You, you know what it means to be a chief? You, you think the chiefs, there are some, some people who are not serious, like the way you, you write on Twitter. That's the work you do every day. You're on Twitter, you're on computer, you're doing online newspaper. You think that's what chiefs do? Chiefs are serious people. They are managing communities. They are putting communities together. They are dividing land. They are making sure that the land is properly used. They may have some faults, like every human being, but they are an important institution. And even when we talk about chiefs, we are not talking about individuals. We are talking about the stool. And if you don't have respect for the individuals, you cannot disrespect the stool of chiefs in Ghana and equate them to paid praise singers. He should go and delete this tweet. Those of you who are his friends, those, uh, uh, what's his name, Mr. Brahma? Tell your friend that he should learn to respect chiefs. You cannot be right because you hate Akufuado. Akufuado doesn't mind if people hate him. He's a politician. He understands that some people will like you, some people will not. He understands that. He's fine with that. So you can write anything you want about Akufuado, okay? And politicians take the high and the low. They all do, especially Akufuado. He does. I've showed it to you before. But you cannot come and write about chiefs in this manner. You don't respect him. Eh? You write, so put the photograph of here and talk about Fede over there. Put the photograph there. Is it not you here? Just yesterday, you were in Togbe Afede's palace. Is it not? Is it not? Is that not him? He's giving his book to Togbe Afede. I don't know how much Togbe Afede uh, contributed to the book. But he's giving his book to Togbe Afede here. And you say that pay, paid praise singers. So you, you, are, you, are, are they including Togbe Afede in the group that you said he, they are paid praise singers? You went to a ugly state to go and do a beautiful event, uh, anti-corruption, something, something. My other friend was there, by the way, at this event. Uh, they didn't invite me for good measure, but Black Rasta too was there. Black Rasta, my good friend, he was there. Black Rasta, good evening if you are watching. Ja Rasta Farah, yeah? Now, this is Manasi Azuri. You are presenting something to Togbe Afede, and you are calling all chiefs, including him, equating them to paid praise singers. You don't have any respect for chiefs. 
I mean, how can you do something like that? Well, I know that Togbe Afede is not going to sing the praise of any chief. Togbe Afede is, is, is not going to sing the praise of anybody. Togbe Afede is not going to organize anybody to have any sincere praise for chief. I know that because if Togbe Afede wants to praise any uh, politician, he can do it himself. In fact, Togbe Afede has a lot to praise himself for. He doesn't need to be praising politicians. I mean, the man he collects money, uh, uh, ex gratia, he returns it. He, he takes a car, he doesn't return it, but he returns the ex gratia and comes to announce that I've returned my ex gratia. Such a chief. He's the venerable chief. He does, he's not going to praise any politician. He is talking about himself. He says, I've returned my money. The other day I heard something. And one of my people drew my attention to it. Dr. Dufour was talking, Kwabena Dufour. And he said between 2009 and 2013, uh, when he left the ministry, he didn't take any payment. He didn't take any salary, and he also didn't take his S. Gratia. Dr. Dufour didn't take his S. Gratia in 2013. He only announced it in 2022. It's in 2022 that Dr. Dufour told us that he didn't take S. Gratia. Well, Togwe didn't take S. He told us, he returned S. Gratia. He said, I've returned my S. Gratia. Or somebody published that Togwe Afede has returned his S. Gratia. It became a matter. So Togwe Afede is not a chief who is going to praise anybody. He has a lot to say about himself. Okay, that's a digression. Let me come back to the matter. So Mr. Azuri was disrespecting chiefs. Put the tweet back on. He was disrespecting chiefs by, by calling, you know, Mr. President for their, for their selfish goals. So the, those who have the selfish goals are the chiefs, the paid praise singers, and the sycophants. And you call the selfish goals chiefs. How can you come from Bongo, which is a traditional setting, which has a Bongo chief? I don't know what they call him, whether they call him Bongo Naba or something, but that's a venerable chief. That is your chief. If, are you suggesting that you don't respect your chief? Those who know him should tell him that these kinds of things are not proper. It is delusions of self grandiose. Huh? Delusions of self grandeur. That's what it is. So I'm sorry to remark on this, but this is crass. Yeah, I heard that somebody used that word recently on the news. I was very excited. This is crass. This one is crass. You can't do that. Put his photograph there. Let me advise him before I come to. Uh, so, hey, Mr. Man, please repent. Eh? Don't disrespect chiefs. Do you understand? Don't disrespect chiefs. Do your work nicely. You're a nice man. You are doing your work. Don't use your hatred for Akufado to disrespect chiefs. Akufado, he knows people hate him, people like him. His mandate is to do a lot for the 30 million Ghanaians. He's focused on that. Akufado is focused on that. You can focus on your online newspaper. Don't disrespect chiefs. Okay, uh, I think I'm done with him. Okay, in the spirit of lifting up our chieftaincy institutions, Otik Okoswo Otunfo Nana Santehene arrived in Kumase from his, uh, what Kumase Po thought was a very, very long trip. Only a month and a half or two months uh, that Otunfo was away. Kumase Po had missed him so much. And so they thronged the Kumase airport to uh, catch a glimpse of the Asante Hene's arrival back in Kumase after his long trip. This is what we got for you on that one. Have a look.